Holly Holland, and welcome to one of the daily five workout sequences that make up our seven day bone building challenge. Today we're going to work on what I call stand to sit and sit to stand. Now this is of crucial importance for all of us as we get in and out of chairs so often during the day, but it also reinforces some things that I really want to talk about in here, and that's in how to lift your glutes and your abs and rather than pushing off of the knees or rounding the spine. So we're trying to create in all of our movements a hinging, a flat back position. Some reminders, this is where the femur bone attaches to the acetabulum, that is your hip, okay? Up here is your pelvis. So we wanna stabilize the pelvis and move from the hips. It's really hard to center that sometimes. So I've got a couple of props right here. I do this sequence every class in my yoga for osteoporosis uh, class that I teach at my studio, Holly's Pilates Village in Louisville. Um, we start with the block between the inner thighs because that's a really great way for you to find centering and to know that you're really getting your inner thighs involved as you pick up your pelvic floor and your deep low abs. So start it here. You can use your hands by the side here to give you a little bit of support. I'm gonna press into my feet, feel the lift of my butt in that squeeze, and I'm holding that hinge. Now, I'm looking over in the mirror and I see like one of my classic compensations, and many people have this, which is that I tilted my pelvis much more than I meant to, which means that I could potentially be creating some stressors in the back. So as I'm going back, and I might invite you to do this to see if you really have established that hip hinge. Then I'm going to make a special effort on this next one to make sure I'm lifting those abs and stabilizing my pelvis. Now I'm pretty steady here because I do this a lot. So I can do that in a way now that reinforces my abs a lot better. I'm working on some stamina here. We really want to give as much resistive work as we can into the bones. So when you're in these standing positions, it's a fabulous thing. I do some different arm movements, move this up, push it down, really frankly, to try to distract my mind from the fact that I'm holding this for a lot of you know, eight to 10 seconds here. Going down in the chair is just important. I want you to have to look back. I want you to feel where your body is in space, what we call proprioception, which is crucial for balance. Okay, so you're getting better at that. How about taking a block now and let's reinforce your wrist. So we're gonna get a little inner thigh connection here. I'm gonna get it here. And I'm gonna really start, start to think about the way my trunk moves with my hips. I'm gonna squeeze that and lift up, hold that position, and slowly going down, I'm emphasizing again that hip hinge, the strength of my gluteals on both the side and the back, and that tracking position so that my knees aren't collapsing in. Pull my abs up and in, and then I can stay up there longer and come back, but I wanna show you a way that you could modify that. Okay, so I've got this little um, table that I use to photograph different things or put a computer on here. I'm just going to use it to represent a table, a kitchen countertop, anything that you could use to create a little bit of steadiness for your hands. In the studio, we have a Cadillac and we use that, uh, it's a piece of equipment for Pilates and we use the bars on either side of that to help people, particularly my seniors, get a little bit of uh, assistance coming up. But how about this table? All right, again, I'm gonna reinforce that neutral spine. Press my hands down, press my feet. Really feel the way the hips are connected to the feet. Pull the abs up and in, and hinge up, okay? And then again, I'm trying to really work a little bit of stamina in this. So I might say come up two or three breaths, come down two or three breaths. Maybe the next time it's five breaths. Use this as you need to until you build the stamina and your precision in this practice, right? Then I could do it to seven breaths. I could add arm movements. I can create resistance. All different kinds of things you can have as you develop a really good understanding of your gluteals and how to get up safely from a chair in a hip hinge fashion. Okay, so that is our daily five today. Sit to stand, stand to sit. I hope you'll practice that. That's one of your seven day challenges. I'll see you for the next one.